Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a tethered jailbreak of iOS 4.2.10, which is the Verizon iPhone's current firmware. Now, this is tethered, and what that means is every time your device turns off for whatever reason, not that you should turn it off, so when you do this jailbreak, make sure you do not turn your device off. If you're low on battery, put it on a charger. So, what tethered means is if your device just so happens to turn off, you're going to need to plug it back into your computer and go through red snow and do this jailbreak again to actually get it to function on the jailbreak. Otherwise, you will be at the Apple logo forever. All right, so you're going to need to download three things. First off, one of them is red snow 0.9.8 beta 4. You're going to need to download iOS 4.2.9, and now this next one is optional. This is iOS 4.2.10, just in case you may feel like you need that for whatever reason. All these links will be in the more info, so go ahead and make sure you download those. Then we're going to go on and go into the next step. All right, now to prove to you that I am on 4.2.1 for, I mean 4.2.10, just in case you want to see it, there we go, version 4.2.10. My camera can somewhat make that out. So there we go. 4.2.10, and you see I have Cydia, and it functions perfectly. All right, so now what we're going to need to do is now we're going to open up red snow okay now when you get red snow open what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit browse now go ahead and make sure you have your device plugged into your computer your mac or your pc doesn't matter and then you're going to want to go ahead and locate 4.2.9 firmware not 4.2.10 make sure it's 4.2.9 we're going to hit open it's going to process the firmware ipsw successfully identified we're going to go ahead and hit next and now it's going to go and process the kernel and all that crap. Alright. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you have install Cydia checked. Nothing else should be checked, only install Cydia. Then you're going to want to go ahead and hit next. Now you're going to need to turn your device off. Now when you get it turned off and you hit next, it's going to have you put your device into DFU mode. So make sure you know how to do that. It gives you instructions of how to do it. It's very simple. Then when you finish finish DFU mode, it's going to finish your jailbreak. And then when you get the option that says finish, go ahead and click it. And then when you hit finish, and your iPhone's done doing whatever it does, and it reboots and it comes back to life, you're going to need to open up Red Snow again. And then when you open it up again, you're going to want to go ahead and browse for the same firmware, 4.2.9. Hit next. Now we're going to need to hit Just Boot Tethered right now. Now when you check mark Just Boot Tethered right now, make sure you have nothing else checked, and go ahead and hit next. Now you're going to need to do the exact same thing. Turn your device off, and then you're going to need to go ahead and put it into DFU mode. Now that's very simple how to do that. I imagine you know how to do it. I've already done it. I'm just walking you through the steps here. And when you get that done and you wait for it to finish and your device reboots, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go onto your device. Alright, so after you went through Red Snow twice, one is install Cydia. You go ahead and did that, put in the DFU mode, and you rebooted your device. If you looked on your device, you had a white Cydia icon. Then you went through it the second time, and where you checked the boxes, you hit just boot tethered right now and when you went through that and your device rebooted you should have a city icon right here and then we can go ahead and open it up now you're going to want to go ahead and select user hacker developer I just stuck with user but whatever you are you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want to be it doesn't really matter there's not much of a difference uh, between the three and then you will notice you have Cydia going on on your uh, iPhone and this is on 4.2.10 firmware and it functions just like it would on any other firmware. So that is how you jailbreak 4.2.10. Now that is a tethered jailbreak, so make sure you don't have your device turned off for whatever reason. Again, if it's low on battery, plug it into a charger. You may need to carry one around, you know, if you've got a car charger or something. Just don't let your phone die. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through this process again to actually get it to work. So that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.